When is the last time you saw a board up company salvaging or boarding up a car following a fire? Firefighters know this is a dumb question and one with an obvious answer, never. Cars are not salvageable after a well-involved fire and have no value. How about a dumpster fire? Or better yet, other outside rubbish fires? Same answer, no value. So do our on-scene tactics always match this reality? The goal here is not to teach you how to fight these non-structural, non-life-threatening fires. It is, however, the goal to bring attention to small tactical nuances that collectively can minimize a firefighter's risk of occupational cancer. For example, firefighters not properly protected, either without wearing bunker gear or without using an SCBA, or members aggressively forcing entry into the engine compartment prior to a good knockdown of the fire, while firefighters are still enveloped in heavy smoke and visible flames. Yes, access to the engine compartment is necessary when involved in a fire. However, this can wait a minute or two until knockdown is achieved. How about firefighters aggressively advancing towards a well-involved dumpster fire, when instead using the reach of the stream would be equally effective? Okay, I know what you're thinking. What if there are occupants in the car or there are exposure issues? Obviously, if the size up indicates a potential life hazard, an adjustment in tactics would be required and made. Once all occupants are accounted for, the only remaining hazard is to the firefighters themselves. Here are three simple tactical nuances that if followed can pay great dividends. Use all your PPE, including the SCBA. Use the reach of the host stream to achieve knockdown. Take a tactical pause. Give the line time to knock down the fire. Hopefully this short video brings greater awareness and mindfulness of some tactical nuances on these routine, non-life-threatening, non-structural responses. These small but important tactical adjustments can add years to your career and to your retirement.